to you and our good evening everyone today I'm gonna be showing you how to farm orbital supply drops by yourself solo without help without any friends or any help at all from anyone by yourself so uh, first of all I was a little hesitant and I still feel a little bit hesitant to show this because I'm always afraid of a uh, wildcard maybe nerfing some of my strategies uh and i feel like this this is not really a glitch or is that it's not there's not any anything out of the ordinary in the process of doing so so what i'm heavily relying on re relying on here is the sky titan in the ability to multitask the sky titan gives me the ability to issue different commands in different places at the same time i have my lightning strikes i have my bites and i have my flock which all I can use all around the same time to you know to accomplish this, and it's more about timing your lightning and also do it, making sure that there's not that too many weights biting out of your drop, right? So what you want to do sometimes is you want to use the flock command and at the same time remove it and summon lightning on that particular. So you're like aiming a flock to a dino. That means that when you put your lining, it will actually hit on that dino. And what will happen is the lining will also follow uh, that particular creature. So if you're trying to like hit a moving waves, but you want it to, but you want to, but if you summon the, the lining on a static location instead of like a moving look, uh, a moving, a moving target, then it will be less effective. So it's uh, red drops is very easy to do solo, which is the Sky Titan. It's the same principle. Uh, purple purples is like I said, it's a 50-50. Some you're gonna fail, some you're gonna win. It really comes down to practice. There's some locations in the map that don't allow you to, to do solo because you get multiple waves in many different locations that is really hard to multitask. But eventually if you keep practicing as I keep practicing you will get better and better and I'm gonna show you uh, my top process on how I go about ac accomplishing orbital, su orbital supply drops solo. Alright, let's go. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go find a purple or a red drop so I can show you my way of doing it. Alright, so we're gonna get started. Um, just for the record, I'm also playing on an official server. I'm actually playing on an official Conquest server at the moment. So if you do see any lag, it's because it's an official server. Um, so we're going to start with a red drop. I'm going to start with this particular red drop right here in this particular location. And I'm going to clear pretty much all of the dinos around this area. So I can get this started. I think some corrupted kill these. It's fine. Actually, I get rid of that uh, that corrupted over there. Uh, I actually have some spare structures that I can use, but I'm not sure if I can place this right here. But essentially, I, I don't really need those. I uh, I can just save them for another for a purple drop instead. Oh, it's another... Oh, there we go. Okay. So my thought process here is, I want to deal with the big wave. Uh, and make sure that this shield does not go down that quickly. It will go down eventually. Uh, red drops tend to be actually a lot easier now for me. Since I don't have to deal with uh, that many waves compared to purple, where I have to deal with uh, wyverns and such. And it can be quite annoying. So usually for this particular location, uh, the big wave will come out from from here where my tail is, until the Titan is is at. And I see there's a track over there. I get rid of this smaller way. Smaller way. This is usually usually the first one tells me where things are gonna come from. So that gives you an idea if you're doing them for the first time. And I'm just like going around trying to see if I see any anything that got past me. Any Tyrandons perhaps. Dimorphodons too. 
can get in the way of things. Alright. I think this I corrupted over there. Yep. It's actually. I think it's just him. I'm just gonna use the flock on him. There we go. Alright. Now here is where things are actually getting started. Alright, so I see a couple of flyers. I'm going to deal with the flyers first. I see the initial wave coming in. I see the initial wave coming in from here. So I have to deal. So I have to multitask between three different locations at the same time. I see a spino. Spino is usually the most annoying part. As you can see, I'm actually locking on a moving dinosaur now, which is the spino. Same thing here. As you can see, my lining. When you actually put a line on top of the dino, it will show up in that we'll have a different animation than the and the ones that are static. Alright, need to deal with this wave here. Actually, somewhere around, I might have more flyers. So I'm gonna sap the actual drop itself. All right, that should get rid of most of those flyers. I think that's pretty much for that wave. I don't see a Carno in there too. We're gonna sap that Carno. As you can see, I'm getting a lot better at single target uh, specific dinos with the lining. It's just doing a, a terrain. I'm actually landing on top of them. Now, I don't think I'm missing anything here besides maybe a flyer or two. Initially, since I'm already near the drop, it will tell me where I'm at. But right now, my... Oh, there it is. My bubble has not gone down yet, which is actually great. If you can manage to get your to keep your bubble up for the, for the second... For the, for the initial big wave, then you're in a really good spot. Oh, see that Morphodon? And I think there's a track in there, trying to hit it. That's a gacha. Okay. It's actually a, a Belonosaur. I'm actually gonna leave the Belonosaur there. There we go. So we beat that wave easily. Now let's get, now let's focus on the next wave. And same principle. I am actually gonna see if I can get that lightning to follow that, uh, the Paraser. And I know there's a spine over there, so I'm just trying to. It's more about the multitasking than anything else. So if you hear a lot of clicking, it's because I'm trying to. Kind of trying to concentrate. And try to make sure my. I'm lining all. I'm making sure that my line, my landing shots are actually somewhat accurate. Might be able to get this. Uh all these dinos before they uh, break this bubble. If not, it's fine. Alright.
think I got those. What am I missing? See it's random in there. So I'm usually trying to make sure I get in the way and I try to bite the bigger dinosaurs. Because the bigger dinosaurs, especially spinals that have a high, uh, have a very fast attack speed, well, not just very high attack speed, will do a lot more damage to my bubble and to my orbital supply drop, and that's not something we want. I see that Morphodon's in there hitting it. That should be the last one, actually. And what's our HP at? My bubble's actually 2k HP, and my chill is still almost fully operational. So, so far this is going really well. I usually tend, I usually have an issue problem of n not being able to keep the shield up for the second wave. So this is actually going pretty well. Might be missing something. Um, it's usually some other dinosaur that has not yet reached the bubble. It's a matter of finding it. Let's see if we can find it. I'm actually not sure what's actually hidden. I don't see anything hidden in the bubble, so let me double check. Oh, there we go. We're actually at 91 KHP. All right. We're doing really well. It's the wiring that I need to have to be careful with. I have to spine us on that side. So same principle. Just that this time, around, this time around, I have to deal with a lot more creatures. Also, you want you want to make definitely want to make sure you do not spam your lightning strikes. If you spam your lightning strikes, you have to wait for the cooldown, and you definitely the last thing you want to do is bite the orbital supply drop. I'm actually gonna have to land another one in there. I want to follow that Rex, that should be, should be good. We have a Paraser in there. Nope, oh, that one was not accurate. Well, that should that should work. The only reason why, as I said before, I want my lightning strike to actually hit the dinosaurs is because in case that creature moves, the lightning will follow and be a little bit more accurate if possible. All. I think I'm just missing a Dradon. All right, we're three at uh, three out of five. So, one of the things I'm also doing is that I'm making sure that if there is usually usually there is one Dino or two Dinos left and they are not hitting your orbital supply drop, make sure that you keep use that opportunity to recharge your light in. Because you want to make sure you have six for the next wave in case things turn out nasty. Okay, I have two hull size left in here. They will eventually approach. Or maybe I just have to find them. But as I said before, uh, it really is. Usually, as you try to do this by yourself, keep in mind that uh, it's really 
comes down to how you want to do this. Maybe you can use some, maybe if you want to use some structures, use some structures. If you want to have a teammate with you, uh, you have that person only aggro and lure the, whatever creature, whatever corrupted dinosaur in the way. But as I said, as you get better, you, you're you not going to need any, any help, really. Oh, wait, that's a below. Well, let's see. I know I'm missing one. Maybe this is Dimorphin is stuck on me. And this is why I usually bring up Spyglass to make sure there's nothing hitting it. Oh, there is a Dimorphin on. There we go. That should be it. Ooh, Viamma Corrupted. I definitely want to make. You definitely want to make sure you get rid of those corrupted, uh, corrupted tracks as they do tremendous amount of damage to to drops. Since I'm gonna have to sap the drop. I'm gonna land a line strike here in the middle. And two here. I know I have one left. So I'm gonna go for another recharge. And just bite. There we go. I might flog on that spider actually. It seems some tracks got past me. I'm actually gonna put some lining in there. There's a couple dinos in there. There you go. Might do one more sap. There we go, we got the enraged strike. I'm actually kind of got lucky there that they got stuck. It's actually a Carno. Alright, I think I hit, managed to hit that Stego without ha hitting the actual drop. Another trike. It's another Carno in there. I don't want to use a sap, a full sap for just one dino. And there you go. Uh. Next wave. See another enraged strike. Actually managed to land that lining on that. See a dine over that distance, I might be able to hit it. Definitely wanna take the aggro here. I wanna see if I can take the aggro from these waves. Definitely gonna have to sap this drop here now. And do one on the left side. Alright, I'm gonna save my I'm gonna save one step here. See ya see a Rex. Is that a Rex? Ah, oh, Violet's already dead. Alright, it's okay. And definitely don't want this to get over there. Alright. I do these all my all my line strikes since there's not that many left.
Okay. Ah, wait, is this the last wave? Oh, it is. Ooh, 65 KHP. I usually tend to get down to like 40 or 30. This actually, this actually went really well for me. I guess I'm getting better at this. And there we go. So we have successfully done a red orbital supply drop solo. So what I'm gonna do. Uh, also, one of the things you definitely want to consider if you can afford it. Uh, bring a tech suit with you, so that way, since you're looted, doing the solo, you want to go back and forth between yourself and your Sky Titan, so that way you can just loot the digital by yourself as well. All you really need is just tech leggings, jetpack, and boots, and that will allow you to just loot things around by yourself. Uh, in, in case you, do, you don't have these and you do die by some w random chance a wild dino appears and bites you, make sure you have a bed on your titan just in case or a sleeping bag nearby. Just in case the worst thing happens. And there we go. I don't think I miss anything. I think I got it all. Let's see what we got here. Oh we got some black pearls. Some male behemoths. Not bad. Blueprint. It's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. There's some free uh, polymer. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, oof. Oof. <gasps> nice. Ascendant Rex Saddle BP. That's actually not bad at all. So, for for doing this solo, actually, the what I got is actually pretty damn good. And keep in mind that. If you manage to, if you practice this and you do it solo, uh, that means that other people can be doing other things like taming, farming, etc. And you just have one person. It's just so cost, so efficient. If uh, the more you practice this over and over. All right. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna do a purple drop. And purple drop is a little bit different on my on my approach because it tends to spawn more waves level 300 400 dinosaurs 500 dinosaurs so it gets a little bit more more diverse more more intense more difficult because um, the multitasking that i have to do is a little bit more more involved i have to, I have to like, press more keys more spam and making sure that there's not that many dinos hitting the job um, all right so coincidentally as soon as i finished that red drop there's a purple drop um this one is a three way uh, wave compared to the one was think was kind of a two wave two way wave. So I'm actually gonna use some of the resources that I got from from this and try to do it that way. We'll see how this goes. Um, if I do fail this drop, we'll just do another one. But like I said, the the more you practice this, the, the better you get at it. And when it comes to purples, I, I still think you will have a 50-50 chance of completing one by yourself. So for purple for purple drops alone, we're only gonna do three waves. You you need to do the minimum, otherwise you're gonna fail. I have not been successful on completing four waves by myself, but I've been successful on three waves by myself. And you only need three waves to catch out and get all the loot you need. I'm actually gonna use some of this stone structures that I got from my previous drop. I'm using the spam round. All right, my purple. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because I do want some of these dinosaurs to get stuck or attack my my spam. I don't. I definitely don't want to run into a situation where I get overrun. Alright, let's go. I did not get to spam the other side. We should be okay. All right. Let's see if we can do this purple. 
I'm actually gonna try to start it. Should I eat this? I'm very tempted to use this metal behemoth structure just so I can have the corrupted silk so take some of the damage while I clear another wave. Alright, let's see. I have a wyvern here. I have another wyvern there. I actually have kind of a little bit of bad star right now. If I can, if I can keep uh, this purple drift for not despawning on the first wave, then we're, then we're good. That means we're good. Am I missing? Actually, gonna do this in the middle. Oh, I actually did land that on the spino. All right. Let's see. What do I have on my shield? This is this is not looking good for me. I can tell right away. we can deal with these at the same time. So far so good. I gotta be a little bit careful here with my line in. I'm gonna have been a cooldown with my landing. I'm gonna see if I can get this down. I know some of them are attacking my structures, which is fine. And a bunch of them are attacking my structures, which is actually really nice for me. It seems I'm gonna have to sap the drop already. Alright, there we go. Snap here. Snap in there too. And that is definitely not enough to... to kill those level 400 dinosaurs. some of the aggro here. So what I want to do here, I want to land that 
You're buying so the splash damage is not either drop too much. There you go. I think I took most of the aggro. Let's see if I can. Alright, seems most of the ways are aggro me, which is good. We're actually 79k HP. That's actually not that bad. Spiting that. There we go. I actually have some of the dinos stuck on me, which is good. Oh, it's only a right break left. I'm gonna actually see if I can wait a few more seconds. I really don't want you to think much as be him. I wanna see if I can recharge. Okay, definitely gonna recharge here. I'm gonna have six waves of the next one. I also wanna throw all this meat. Don't really need it. Oh, nice. I'm gonna use that. Okay. Perfect. Maybe I can place it like this. I won't have time. Alright. Hitting those, those yet? I have a wyvern there. I have a, I have a reaper. Oof! Definitely don't wanna. Definitely wanna send a flock on that reaper. It's gonna be close. Some aggro, nice. I'll wait for the line in. Let's see if I can lure those guys down here. Someone is raising our juice. Oh, nice. Where are we at? Oof. It's gonna be super close. So I only need to survive for one more wave.
If I can survive if I can survive the next wave, we can cash out. And then things are gonna get lit a bit. A little bit more intense after that. Actually wanna trip all this meat again. Dinos that we have left. Only one pulse not left. I'm at 50k HP. Although next wave is gonna have more rug drakes, more reapers, more everything. Let's see. So ideally, if you do want to do this with two people, uh, you have someone someone else on a snow owl on a managarm, and what you want that person is to stay away until the third wave in cash out when there is only one hostile remaining and you want him to be with a tech suit to he so he can uh, cash out and whips his mean stuff if you want and what you want to do is just pretty much just drop everything on the ground so you have five minutes to pick it up and you just clear the, the remaining on the last wave but i'll show you guys in a second if you just do it solo okay here we go last 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 wave for me Oh, I might have to spam a little too, too early in there. It's kind of a bad thing. I'm gonna have like minus one. So technically speaking, I have like three different ways, four different ways I'm having to deal with in here. See if I can get this uh, flock to deal with this. Might have. Spam it there. I want those to aggro me. I want as many as I can to aggro me. Break. Okay, so I got smaller waves now, and I'm just more concerned about them finishing the job. And then also, I'm gonna see if I can land that. Oof. Done it. I see 30k HP left and only three hostiles. So, so what I want to do? Well, I want to clear that stego first. So this is the this is the tricky part and probably very stressful for me. Okay. This is where I want to make sure I am quick as possible. I should have the option to cash out. We have one hostile left, so I want to cash out immediately. I want to eject these items before the next wave comes in, because there's still another wave that is going to come in. And what I want to do is... 
grab everything. Drop it on the ground. Grab everything, drop it on the ground. Grab everything, drop it on the ground. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get bitten very soon. I'm actually... So I think I got all of it. I actually got very lucky there was 30 KHP left. Because... So the Reapers... The initial Reapers are concentrated in attacking the drop itself. So if there was only like 2 KHP left, as soon as they killed the drop, they would have gone for me and they probably would one-shot me immediately. So now that I drop everything on the ground, I have like around, I believe, 5 minutes or so. To be able to loot this. So, if you're doing this uh, with a group, what you really want to do is uh, try to clear, or try to lure everything away. So right now everything is just concentrated in there. Oof, that's some really good stuff. So I got time. The only thing that, that would really hurt is that enraged tech rigs. I'm actually, since I'm already here, and this is the reason why I keep dropping the meat, because when I go loot, I want to make sure that I'm quick. And really, I want to get rid of the tech rigs. The one that does the this most tankiest of them all, and the one that does the most damage. Okay, I think I got time. I think I did it. I right, should be able to loot my drop now. Okay. Now all I need to do is just pick up the bags that I drop on the ground. Pick this. Pick this. And this is why the tech suit is so important because you want to be able to move while you're on cumber. And once again, I want to Make sure I drop this raw meat. I want to put this raw meat right here. I think I'm missing one more bag. Just need to find it. Now oh, that's the meat that I dropped. Where is this back? Ooh. There it is. I believe that's all. And the reason why I wanted to... There we go. The reason why I wanted to um, hurry up and whip everything is because if you, if you don't whip everything and drop everything as the next wave is coming, all the loot is gonna despawn. It despawns in within like 30 seconds or 50 seconds, I believe. And then you lose everything that you just work for. So this is why it's very important that you are as quick as possible to whip. If you don't have enough time and you see you're about to get hit, just drop whatever you can, whip whatever you can, and then just and then just drop it and then go back in the Titan and clear the wave. And if you miss some stuff, unfortunately, there's nothing else you can do. Otherwise, you will die if you try to pick it up. 
because this level 500, level 400 dinos will, will kill you very quickly. Uh, if you have like a Texu with like 1000 durability, maybe down the line, maybe you can tank a hit or, tank a hit or two, but I still wouldn't recommend it. So anyway, we have successfully done a purple drop all by ourselves. World first purple drop, high poo. Okay, <laughs> we got some actually really good stuff. Um, it's not, not bad. It's in the uh, send the manigram saddle. Uh, some decent hazard stuff. A lot of crowd pots. Ooh, it's not bad at all. I think I already had these from the, from the previous retro. And a bunch of uh, metal structures and more polymer. So, for and a full texture, pretty much of the stuff. Oof, it's not bad. It's actually not bad. But I like the the Sinton Thick Rifle with 154 damage. It's actually pretty damn good. So yeah, um, and that is pretty much how you run orbital supply drills by yourself. You just need a Sky Titan and. And a lot of multitasking, really. It's just uh, as I said before, it's really down. It really comes down to timing your lining. Be aware of your surroundings. See what needs um, what needs to be focused. What where you need to be with your titan. As you can see, multiple times, if you go back and analyze the video and watch it slowly, and I couldn't talk about it because I was trying to concentrate. Uh, at some points, I was timing. I mean, focusing my flock on. The wyverns and the bigger targets like rock drakes and reapers which have high attack speed and would do a lot of damage to my drop so and once again uh it is a 50 50. sometimes sometimes you're gonna get this right sometimes you're gonna win sometimes you're gonna lose but at the end of the day you don't really lose anything but time so long as you have a titan but anyway uh that's really it for me um if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.